hi everyone it is future editing Mairead here um I've just edited all the footage and I'm like do you know what they're spoilers so if you haven't read the Ravenhood series don't watch they're spoilers and two sometimes the audio is a bit funny so um I'm sorry about that but yes there are spoilers don't watch if you haven't read any of these books um but I hope you enjoy the video hi everyone I hope you're doing well I'm back again and for today's video I am doing a reading vlog. I'm reading The Ravenhood, I'm pretty sure it's a trilogy, by Kate Stewart. I'm about, um, I don't know I've looked at my watch. I'm about halfway through the first book because I'm listening to it on Audible um, while I'm at work. And because today is Monday and it's a bank holiday, I'm one of the only people in work. So I should finish the, aud the Audible book again. Um by this evening because I do have work today so I'm not going to have loads of updates it'll probably be an update this evening but that is the whole reading vlog premise for this week um I've heard so 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 many things about this book it's got like 10,000 reviews on Goodreads um so I'm very very eager to finish it and I saw a lot of reviews say that you don't know where it's going until about 95% into the first book because right now it feels just a bit like a summer sort of romance um right now it's about a woman called cecilia also if you're wondering i do have a baby yoda squish mallow 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 whatever they're called i do have one <laughs> right now it's about a woman called cecilia and she goes to stay with her dad she's 19 she goes to stay with her dad for a year to work in his like plant his factory whatever you want to call it um so that she can get her inheritance from him and right now she's sort of in a relationship with a man called sean who's her supervisor at the plant right now i'm not loving sean he's coming across as very pretentious i don't know what all these weird ramblings about like when he was talking about the phone and like phones not having phones anywhere and when he was also talking about like it's now time and when he breaks her watch i'm a bit confused i'm highly confused I can't even remember what bit I'm at. Oh, I'm at the bit where that woman goes on a mad one that they don't get paid properly in the factory. And she's brought up with her dad. Cecilia's brought up with her dad. That is the point I'm at right now in the book. Um, I don't know. I think I'm liking it, but I think it's hard for me to tell if I like it because it's being read to me. Um, like I was listening to the first book in the Carrera trilogy. I think that's what it is. Um, and I don't equally know if I like that just because I think it's being read to me that I'm being a bit like, I don't like it. Um, but I'm not too sure. But right now it's just okay. Hiya everyone. It is currently Tuesday morning. I'm really sorry I didn't update you yesterday. I came home from work and I um, literally just watched Superstore all evening with my mum. So um, I just didn't get around to updating you and I've woken up with a cold I have a right snotty nose which is why I look like this um I just always look like this I finished flock I finished flock yesterday at work I'm just slightly confused I'm just very confused actually I don't also by the way this will have spoilers um so don't listen or don't watch because this will probably have spoilers because I'm just rambling everything out. But I'm so confused. I don't particularly understand this whole the Ravenhood. I don't I don't particularly get it. Like I just don't actually get what they do. Um and I don't know if it's because I was listening to it that I have I've like missed a bit, like my mind's wandered and I've like not paid full attention. But I'm so confused about that. I'm so confused as to why Sean always speaks in riddles. He's a very pretentious man, in my own humbling opinion. Why is everyone always talking in riddles? I'm so confused. Um, and what was this whole bit that Sean kept going on about doing that whole thing of, like, it's now time and breaking her Apple Watch? Uh, what is this? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Um, but I finished it. I gave it four stars on Goodreads because I think I probably would have liked it more if I read it. But because I've listened, I don't think I've really <laughs> engaged as much. But I'm just really confused. I listened to it all at work and I put on my Instagram story. I was like, not me listening to threesome scenes while I'm working. I'm just there working away listening. <laughs> I'm on to the second book. I'm pretty sure it's called Exodus. 
right now. Um, I'm understanding it more, but I'm about 50 pages in, I'm pretty sure. But, like, I, I'm understanding it more, but I'm still really confused as to what the whole Ravenhood bit is. Like, I understand their plot against her dad. But right now I'm a bit like, what is this? I don't understand. Um, they're a bit long-winded too. Like, there's a lot, a lot of, like, just her rambling. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of her, like, inner dialogue. And it's slightly repetitive. But they're all right for right now. Right now I'm not seeing so much of the hype. But right now they're just all right for me. Um, and again, I think a lot of it is that, like, I liked... I didn't love the people that did the audiobook it was just like all right um but i think everything becomes really exaggerated when you listen um so some of the stuff she was saying i was like this is annoying i was like this is annoying um and i don't know if it's because it's being said out loud that you're like actually that's bad but when i'm reading it i'm like oh, that's fine because i was listening and i was like he's quite manipulative this sean no phones no this no that but maybe when i if i would read it i'd be like no that's fine like, I wouldn't internalise it as much, I don't know. Hello, I'm just in the same position because it's still the same time. I've just been sat here reading before getting ready to go to work. And I've reached... This is just going to be me rambling. I've reached the bit um, where Tobias, is that his name, I'm pretty sure, takes Cecilia to the bank to be like, find the criminal, and it's the bank's criminal. What is this? What is this? It's very, very, very weird to me. I'm really, like, it's a certain mindset you have to have with this sort of book. And it's just a bit pretentious to me, just a smidgen. Hi everyone, it is currently Tuesday afternoon, evening. It's actually 10 minutes past 7. Um, and came on to update you. I don't have much of an update. I haven't read that much since from what I rambled about earlier. Um, I had work. And I didn't get to listen to any like, audiobook because other people were in and I read a bit on the bus but um, I came home and I did some DIY and by DIY I mean I bought a pair of jeans and I cut them into shorts and I also um, sat and watched Superstore for ages and ages with my mum so I really haven't done any reading but hopefully I'll read a fair bit in bed tonight and I can give you more of an update tomorrow morning. I'm getting my eyebrows done in the morning. I also got an ice cream at work today. If anyone was interested. And it wasn't that much of an interesting ice cream. It was just a magnum. Um, so it wasn't that interesting. But that is pretty much my update. I still feel the same. I haven't, I've maybe read 15 extra pages and that's it. It's currently Wednesday evening. And I did update you this morning because I was very late. I was rushing about. I had to go get my eyebrows done. Um got them threaded and yeah I was just rushing about I was really um running behind also I think I have hay fever not a cold um I'm still trying to figure it out I don't quite know um but I'm thinking it's hay fever now anyway I'm about 50% through the book I'm not reading too quickly like I said I'm at work so I'm not reading it also just so you know it's 6.53 um I'm not reading it too quickly because I'm at work. I'm 50% through. She spent the whole, pretty much 30% of the book going, I'm in love with Dominic and Sean. I miss Dominic and Sean. And now, suddenly, she's in love with Tobias. I'm Confucian. I am Confucian. It makes no sense. <laughs> I'm just so confused. It makes no sense to me. Why is it like I understand why it's changed? She slowly starts falling in love with Tobias, but I'm like, he's made the whole first book us falling in love with Sean because I didn't like Sean. I don't like Sean, I just don't. So, why did I have to why did you have to try and make me like him? Because I didn't, and I don't, and I won't. So, that's that. I won't like Sean, so that's that. Hello, everybody. Um, it is currently Thursday morning, I'm about 70% through the book, and I would have updated you because a big plot twist happens but it was like 11 o'clock at night and I was like I'm not turning my light on because I was reading in the dark I was like I'm not turning my light on to um so I'm not, basically I'm not gonna get out of bed turn my light on and go oh my god again I'm just gonna say it spoilers so like I said don't watch if you've not read but um just I don't I'm liking it more now I can't believe that Dominic died 
I was quaking in my little boots when that happened. I'm just really, I am liking it more. I am liking it more, but I'm still undecided. And I'm, do you think it's really long? Like there's so much of her just in her own head going, but I love him and I love him and I da 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 da. There's so much of that, um, which I don't mind, but I do quite like dialogue. So, um, I don't know. I don't think it's my favorite book or my favorite book series that I've ever read. Um, I'm equally still not whole sold on the whole like Robin Hood situation thing. If you're wondering about the bit where she, I mean now I'm part two, about the bit where she has basically come back and wants to sell her dad's company, and she is, she's run into Tobias again. Hello everyone. I don't think I updated you yesterday. Oh, well, I didn't. I know I didn't. I didn't update you yesterday evening. I only finished the book this morning because it's currently Friday afternoon. Um, I was busy this whole morning. I went out for a food shop and I had to sort something out at the post office with my Oyster card. Um, so I've been busy. But I did finish the book this morning. The second book, I finished Exodus by Kate Stewart. There was a big plot twist and it made me like the book in the end, I feel like. I feel like it was a good plot twist to have. But... I don't understand why there's now a third book. I feel like the second book could have ended there and been fine. Um, I'm only one chapter into the third book. I will hopefully finish that by tomorrow afternoon. I'm fingers crossing just because I have, I don't have work today. Um, I don't have work tomorrow. So I can actually just stay in my house all day and read although I am tomorrow I'm very excited for this I don't think I'll vlog it because I'm just a bit too shy but um I do oh and I am going to a discounted bookshop which is near me and it's always all over TikTok I don't know if anyone who's not from the UK gets it on their for you page but I've been there once before and it was quite busy, so I probably so I definitely won't film anything. Um, if I get any books, I might show you, but I might just save that for a book haul or like a birthday book haul. Given my rating for the second book is a four stars on Goodreads. My Goodreads is in the bio if you're interested, um, as is my Instagram. And I don't know whether to include my story graph. Are people using it? I don't know if they are. Um, but I use Storygraph, uh, so I might include my Storygraph too in the bio. I'll be annoyed if this isn't a good final book because I feel like it was fine to end it how it did end in the second book. Um, so we'll see what happens. I've only finished the first chapter. Hello everyone, this is my evening update. Um, I haven't got all that far. I'm about maybe 15% of the way through of the third book. Again, I'm really not seeing much of a point of the third book as of yet. Right now I'm at the bit where he's, Tobias is eating at Cecilia's cafe. Again, sorry, spoilers if you haven't. I've mentioned it multiple times, um, so spoilers. Yeah, I'm at that bit, but I'm, as of right now, I'm not really being able to see where it's going like at all, but that is my Friday evening update. I'm having a wild Friday evening so crazy it isn't even a lockdown here anymore you can go out you can meet friends i'm just not doing anything um <laughs> so that is pretty much it and i'll give you an update tomorrow it probably won't be tomorrow morning because i'm going to my bookshop which i'm really excited for and i'm gonna go to dun elm because i need to get plates hi everyone an update for you i am about 50 percent of the way through the book the third book the finishing line um, it is Saturday afternoon. I know I did say I have it finished by Saturday evening. I have not got it finished by Saturday evening. I went out this morning and I went to the discount bookshop. I posted a TikTok, which I will link below. Um, so if anyone was interested in seeing that, I am going to do a book haul. I'm going to do a book haul on TikTok too, but I don't know when I'll do that. I don't know if I'll do it around the same time I release that as well i don't really know if you want to follow me on tiktok you can i haven't posted anything this is my first book talk video i don't know if i will continue to post anything but um yeah that's why i haven't really re really been reading i was pretty much out all afternoon i went and got lunch with my dad and my sister and we went to a shop called dunhelm because we had to get plates and we did something else and i can't remember what it was Oh, I got my camera back. That was the other thing that I did. 
my camera has been fixed um so from next video we'll be back on the camera i won't be on my silly old laptop and it'll be back on the camera i'll be best quality so that is good that is very good news although i know some people probably did like the facetimes my friend preferred the facetimes but i prefer the camera so the main bit of the story is just tobias growing up and how he's gotten to where he is um, so it explains pretty much the Ravenhood a lot better. Um, but by this point, I understand the gist of it now. So I'm not confused anymore. So I feel like it's just not... just wasn't needed a third book. Does other, do other people feel like this who read it? I don't know. But I'm going to speedy read through it, hopefully, this evening. And try and get as much of it read as possible. But... Um, right now it's just a bit boring. I'm liking the more playful banter that they have in this book. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I just thought I'd give you an update. It's currently Sunday afternoon. I'm back from work. I finished the finish line. The final book in the Ravenhood trilogy by Kate Stewart. I finished it. Um, it took me like three days to get through, but I have finished it now, finally. Anyway, I liked some parts of it. Some bits had really good, like, banter moments in it. Um, but overall, it was just a lot of fighting when I feel like there didn't need to be so much fighting. It was slightly repetitive. I really, really genuinely feel like it could have ended on the second book and that would have been fine. Like, I would have been happy to have left a certain amount of mystery to it if that makes sense i think equally they could have been a smidgen shorter too i just feel like overall they were just all right um i don't know i feel like it could be a case of them being a bit overhyped i don't really know um i think my favorite book was the second book i think they're okay i don't think they're anything too amazing i really thought they were going to be like nine minutes by beth Lynn because they were like amazing 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 to me but Mm, it sort of wasn't it sort of lacked a bit for me i don't know i need to rate it on goodreads because i've literally just finished it and i haven't rated it on goodreads yet but i don't know what i'm gonna write the final book i wish goodreads did half stars because i probably would have given it three and a half but now i feel rude giving it three i feel rude giving it just three so I might give it four and also again sorry this hasn't been the most interesting video i've just i work five days a week so um there isn't loads of stuff that i do with my day um aside from go to work and then come home and read and watch tiktoks <laughs> or watch married at first sight australia i hope you've enjoyed my input my opinions on it so if it's like your favorite book and i've gone i just don't like it uh i didn't dislike it i just didn't love it i don't think it's a problem um and yes yeah, sorry if i didn't like it the way that everyone else liked it um I really wanted to, I really wanted it to become like a new favourite book. Um, but it hasn't, so sorry. And I will see you at some point, I'm not too sure when. Thank you as always for all the support, everyone's always so kind. And if you could like, if you could subscribe, if you could comment what you thought about this series, I would love to know. Or just your books that you're reading at the minute. And I will see you soon, so we will chat shortly. And goodbye. <laughs>